Maple is invited by her friend to play a new virtual reality game. Since she is very afraid of pain, she chooses a character that specializes in defense. She even uses all the bonus points at the beginning of the game to increase her defense stat. As soon as she enters the game, Maple is amazed at the magnificent scenery of this place. But Maple's body moves as slowly as a turtle, because she didn't increase her agility. When she sees a player pass by, she asks her for the nearest hunting area, and the girl's name is Federica, directs Maple to a forest for rookies. As soon as she steps into the forest, Maple sees a cute rabbit, and thanks to her high defense, she doesn't feel pain from its attacks. After standing for a while, Maple gains a special skill that allows her to double her defense. Thanks to defeating the rabbit, Maple gains one more level, and she is continuing to go into the forest looking for monsters. Suddenly, she is attacked by a giant bee. The bee shoots poison at her, causing her HP to slowly drop, but thanks to its poison, she unlocks the poison resistance. So she lays down to take the attacks for the purpose of leveling up the skills. And when her poison resistance is upgraded, she uses her sword to kill the bee. Maple continues to use all the points she has earned in this forest to increase her defense, but fighting monsters makes her feel a bit tired, so she lays down to take a nap. And monsters suddenly come from nowhere to attack her while she is sleeping. However, thanks to continuously receiving damage, she gains a healing skill. As soon as she wakes up and sees the monsters attacking her, she panics and chases them away. The next day, standing in the middle of town, Maple sees a player using a shield like her. Seeing how cool his shield and armor are, she asks him where to buy them. The man's name is Chrome, and he takes Maple to a blacksmith shop to buy weapons. But the owner of the blacksmith shop, named Izu, tells her that she needs materials to make weapons. So she tells Maple to go to the Poison Dragon's Labyrinth to search for the materials there. After entering the labyrinth, Maple encounters many slimes as well as other small monsters, and she goes into the deepest parts of the labyrinth to face a three-headed dragon. The free head spewed poison at once, causing Maple's HP to drop very quickly, but Maple repeatedly used the healing potion to endure its attack. Thanks to that, she unlocks the high-level poison resistance skill, so its attack is no longer effective. However, due to the lack of damage, Maple doesn't have any skills to kill it, but she comes up with a way, that she will eat the dragon until it disappears. Thanks to defeating the poison dragon, Maple gets some poison attack skills. She even picks up black armor along with the unique poison dragon shield in the game with the skill Foul Eater. After receiving new equipment, Maple continues to go to the forest to hunt monsters to level up and she eats a beetle and gets a skill called Bomb Eater. The next day, on the way to school, Maple accidentally meets her friend, Sally, and Sally is very happy to know that Maple really liked the online game she introduced. But Sally is currently banned from playing games by her mother until the school's year semester exams are over. That night, Maple logs into the game to participate in the first event since the game's launch, and the event participants will have to fight each other until the time runs out. Maple and many other players are teleported inside the battle area, and just as the battle begins, Maple encounters a man wielding a sword. But the moment he charges, Maple's shield uses the skill Foul Eater to swallow him. Right after that, Maple uses her shield to swallow hundreds of players, making the players watching outside think that she is using a cheat. When Maple is too strong, the other players join forces to attack her, but she creates the three heads of the poisonous dragon and spits poison everywhere to defeat them. An NPC dragon appears and announces that Maple is the third top player of the event. The other two heads are Pain and Dread from the same guild. The dragon also says that whoever can kill one of the top three will gain a lot of points, so hundreds of players keep coming to Maple to fight her but they are all defeated. As soon as the match ends, the dragon invites Maple for an interview with the third place in this event, but Maple is too embarrassed to say anything because she isn't used to public speaking. Sally can't believe that Maple has only just played the game and is already in third place in the event. She is even more surprised when she learns that Maple has used all the points to increase her defense. 
However, Sally says that she will also only increase the agility stat on her new character because she wants her character to have the ability to move super fast so that no one can keep up with her. That night, just as she locked in, Sally is surprised because it is also her first time playing this game and Sally uses all her points to increase her agility. Thanks to her high agility, Sally is able to carry Maple and run like the wind. They accidentally go into a cave and found a very large lake. They take out fishing rods to fish with the purpose of getting some high class fish scales to make weapons. While diving into this lake, Sally accidentally found a portal below and as soon as she swims into the gate, she accidentally encounters a super giant sea monster. This sea monster is so strong that Sally has to constantly launch a lot of skills at it. After fighting for a while, she finally succeeded in defeating the monster. She opens a treasure chest and finds a blue outfit that looks good on her. Maple and Sally suddenly hear the announcement that the map of this game is about to open the second level. Maple's Foul Eater skill has been restricted in use. She can only use it 10 times a day because the game makers fear that her skills will cause the power in the game to be unbalanced. Maple and Sally go around town to buy some items and Sally suddenly feels hungry. So she asks Maple to go to a cafe for breakfast but they can't believe that the food in the game also tastes like real life. While eating, the two girls meet the second place player in the recent event named Dread and next to him is his friend named Drag. They tell Maple that the first place player named Pain is even stronger than them. Maple and Sally then move to the second floor to participate in the upcoming event. Maple sees Chrome here and a female player named Me who is encouraging the will of the members of the Flame Emperors. Maple and Sally are teleported into an extremely large area. They are looking for meadows on the prairie when Sally suddenly can't find Maple anywhere. Sally discovers that Maple has fallen into a cave hidden in the ground. After Sally jumps down into the cave with Maple, they see a large gate. They step inside when a clown faced monster suddenly rushes to attack them. Maple has to constantly use her teleport skill to reach Sally's location to block its attacks while Sally uses her super acceleration skill to move at lightning speed to attack the monster. Maple successfully defeats the monster by spitting a lot of poison on it. Thanks to defeating the clown faced monster, Maple and Sally have the first two medals and they go inside a teleportation magic circle to get out of the cave. They go to a snowy mountain to continue searching for medals but they accidentally run into Chrome's party. Maple and Chrome don't want to fight for the medals. According to the rules of this event, only one party is allowed to enter the dungeon at a time to fight the boss. Maple lets Chrome go inside the dungeon first because he helped her a lot when she first started playing the game. However, as soon as Chrome's party enters the dungeon's gate, it reopens immediately. Sally is sure that Chrome's party has been defeated by the boss and it is very strong. Maple and Sally enter the dungeon and are confused when they see an ice phoenix. It attacks them with ice magic but Maple absorbs the ice with the foul eater skill. Maple also uses the foul eater skill to absorb one of the phoenix's legs. Right after that, Sally uses the illusion skill to find a way to approach the phoenix and Maple takes advantage of that moment to teleport to Sally and use the poison to attack it at close range, causing it to be destroyed. After defeating the phoenix, Maple accidentally picks up one of its feathers and they find two strange eggs. They decide to bring these two eggs back to see what creatures they will hatch. The game administrators are extremely alarmed when Maple can defeat the phoenix, which they have worked so hard to create. As soon as they go outside, the two eggs hatch into a turtle and a very cute fox. So Maple adopts the turtle and Sally adopts the fox as pets. Maple and Sally then stop at an oasis deep in the desert. A girl in a pink dress using a sword suddenly blocks their way for medals. However, that girl named Kasumi feels that she can't fight them alone so she uses super acceleration to run away. Sally also uses the same skill to chase after her. After running for a while, Kasumi is surprised to learn that Sally can also use super acceleration. 
Sally and Kasumi are about to have a fight when Maple suddenly crashes into them, sending them into a strange dungeon deep beneath the desert. The three girls discover that they are connected by a cursed chain. If one of them dies, the remaining two will die too. So they have to accept the truce and find a way to get out of this dungeon together. The three suddenly see a giant snail without the HP bar. So Sally assumes that the snail is just an obstacle for the player and are not able to be destroyed. After that, dozens of giant snails show up from everywhere. So Sally and Kasumi have to quickly use super acceleration to drag Maple away. But they suddenly stop when they realize that snails have surrounded all the passages of this place. However, Maple discovers a small cave located high above. So Sally and Kasumi take turns using their high jump skill to drag themselves into the cave. And when they go outside, their chains disappear. When they open the treasure chest, they find two medals and some rare items. Maple and Sally agree to divide the reward equally among the three. Then all three girls are teleported outside. Kasumi says goodbye to Maple and goes in a different direction to continue searching for medals. Maple's party still needs to find 9 more medals to finish the event. In the days that followed, Maple and Sally go everywhere to find medals. There is only one day left until the event is over, and they are still 2 medals short. So Sally attacks players to steal their medals, while Maple hides in a cave to watch over the 2 pets along with the medals. They had found enough medals to be able to exchange for rewards and they were surprised to see Kasumi also go to this cave to rest. At the end of the event, the NPC dragon appears to reward groups that found more than 20 medals. After a period of fighting with Maple, the baby turtle has learned the skill to turn into a giant. The reward that Maple took is a skill that gives the baby turtle the ability to fly. The next day, Sally reveals that the game has just given players the right to buy houses to make their own guilds. So Sally and Maple go around town looking for a house. When they go to the suburbs, they see a very unique treehouse. So they decide to choose this place as their home, as well as their guild's base. However, Maple feels that their house seems too big, so they invite Kasumi and Kanade to join their guild. They are happily chatting when they accidentally see Izu and Chrome shopping. So Maple takes the opportunity to invite them to her guild. When they return to the guild, everyone asks Maple to become the leader. After thinking for a while, Maple gives the guild the name Maple Tree. They then hold a meeting to prepare for upcoming events, one of which is the guild's competition. They assume that with such a small number of members, they will have a hard time at the next event. So Maple and Sally go around town to recruit more members. Maple accidentally meets two pretty girls who haven't joined any guilds yet so she invites them to join her guild. It turns out that Yui and Mei only increase damage, so no guild recruited them. They are surprised to learn that Maple also only increases all points on defense. At this time, the first place player forms a new guild called Holy Sword, and he invites the strongest players to join his guild. Maple and the others are discussing the plan for the event when the dragon NPC appears to announce the rules of the guild competition. Each guild will be given a base and must protect an orb placed within it. If they bring the enemy orb back to their own base, they can earn more points, and in 3 hours, the orb will automatically return to its base. Players who die more than 5 times will be disqualified from the event. After that, Maple's guild is taken to a base, which is a cave located in the mountain. They divide into two groups so that they can both defend and attack. Sally leads Kasumi and Chrome to attack the base of small guilds. Thanks to their overwhelming power, the three easily obtain the guild's orb. Sally tells Kasumi and Chrome to return to the base while she continues stealing orbs from other guilds. Meanwhile, the Holy Sword Guild is being attacked by many smaller guilds, but they quickly fail when confronting Frederica and Drag. Thanks to the expert in trapping, Marx, the Flame Emperor doesn't have too much trouble in defending, so the leader, Mi, can freely attack other guilds' bases. 
but when she's about to get the orb, Sally shows up and takes it in front of her. Mi angrily uses Flare Axel to chase Sally. She even burns down the forest but still can't catch up with Sally. Dozens of girls chase Pain after he steals their orb. Facing Pain's overwhelming power, they are unable to stop him. Drag is impressed to see Pain take down so many players without using his skills. After one night, Sally managed to steal more than 10 orbs. However, Frederica and the members of the Holy Sword block Sally's way. Sally sends a message for help to Maple. Sally is very tired because she has been fighting all night. Not to mention the power of the Holy Sword is too great. Maple flies to Sally's place in her angelic form to rescue her. She uses her high-tech armor to sweep away all the minions led by Frederica. Meanwhile, Dread attacks Maple's base when he learns that Maple isn't there. Everyone can't return because they are far from the base. Yui and Mei have to do their best to stop Dread, but due to their level difference, he easily defeats them. However, just as Dread is about to get the orb, Maple and Sally return in time. Maple uses the skill of the turtle to bind Dread and defeat him with the Foul Eater skill. As soon as everyone returns to the base, Mei and Yui are also revived. This time, Sally asks Maple to bring Yui and Mei to attack the Flame Emperor. Upon seeing Maple's attack, Marx and the Priestess Misery are quite confused because Marx's traps have no effect on Maple's stamina. Mi immediately appears to face Maple when she sees her comrades in trouble. Mi continuously fires a series of fireballs to separate Maple from Mei and Yui, making it impossible for Maple to protect them. She tells Mei and Yui to stay out of this fight. Mi then orders Marx and Misery to repeatedly use armor-piercing attacks on Maple. However, their attacks are swallowed up by Maple's Foul Eater skill. Mi and her two teammates continuously push Maple back, making it impossible for her to approach them. Mi feels that if they keep fighting like this, it's impossible to defeat Maple. Mi tells Misery and Marx to try to hold Maple while she prepares her strongest skill. She uses a skill called Prison of Flame to imprison Maple. However, the Prison of Flame suddenly explodes, causing the ground to shake violently. Mi and her two teammates are shocked to see Maple's high-tech armor. Maple continuously bombards the Flame Emperor's base. Mi realizes that she can't defeat a monster like Maple, so she orders Marx and Misery to quickly retreat. Maple chases and blocks their way and fires a powerful blast of energy to blow away Mi's group. Mi and her members are revived at the place not far away. After being defeated by Maple, Mi is extremely humiliated and cries like a kid. After the defeat of the Flame Emperor, Maple's most worrying enemy right now is the Holy Sword. So Sally guesses that Pain will attack this place. Just as Sally has predicted, Pain has brought three of his strongest teammates to attack Maple's base. The members of both sides rush towards each other and fight a big battle. Maple's guild has a bit of a hard time because the Holy Sword has more combat experience. Pain keeps attacking Maple, making it impossible for her to react in time. He unleashes a powerful slash that causes her HP bar to drop very quickly. Izu is about to support Maple when Pain ends her with a single hit. Maple pulls out a cannon towards Pain, but he is still able to stand after receiving that attack. Just then, Pain is about to finish Maple when she activates the Atrocity skill, which allows her to transform into a monster. She rushes to bite Pain and finish him. Pain's teammates are shocked and are also destroyed by Maple. The guild members are overjoyed to have defeated the strongest guild in the event. The guild competition finally ends well, so Maple holds a party and invites the Flame Emperor and the Holy Sword to join them. That brings us to the end of this anime recap. Additionally, Season 2 will be airing soon, so we can see the next adventures of Maple. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like if you did, subscribe for more anime recaps, and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of new uploads. See you all next time.